Hello wine lovers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm excited about um, reviewing a Chablis wine, which I don't drink a lot of. So this is from Louis Michel. It's the 2017 Chablis. It's from the Premier Cru region of Bouteau. So a little bit about this winery. Um, Louis Michel, it's a winery that specializes only in Chablis wines. Um, they have been producing wines since mid 19th um, century, so 1850 around. Family run around 25 hectares. Uh, hectares, I think, of uh, vineyard, again, only doing um, Chablis wines. Um, so they've got just the regular Chablis, they've got the Premier Cru and also Grand Cru. So this wine comes from the um, Grand, the Premier Cru region of Bouteau. So Bouteau is basically one of the regions in um, the Chablis re uh, Premier Cru region of Montman. And so um, it's kind of a, a fairly large region in terms of uh, for, for in Burgundy standards for Premier Cru. Uh, the, um, it's again family run and um, for these wines they do not oak them, they, firm, they uh, age them and they um, ferment them in stainless steel. They've done that since the 1970s um, and again this is the whole idea that uh, with oak, it kind of hides the natural um, terroir of Chablis. Uh, I know that most of you are, are you are um, familiar with kind of Chardonnay being oaked, um, but uh, with Chablis, they like that steeliness and cleanness to the grape. Um, so again, because it's old world, it's from Chablis. They and they expect you to know it's a white, it's Burgundy region. So therefore, it's a hundred percent Chardonnay no oak in this at all so let's take a taste of this now i'll tell you that i have had this open for um the last i guess day or so i did have it originally i thought it wasn't um chilled enough and um the, the aftertaste was a little bit um kind of edgy for me uh, a little bit tart uh, I had it again and it was much better when I chilled it a little bit more. So this is well chilled now. On the nose, you get some citrus. Um, citrus, like orange. Um, kind of a little bit of tanginess and a little bit of, little bit of min minerality. And I'll tell you, when I first opened this wine, it didn't seem like it had the crisp acidity the steeliness of what i would expect from a chablis but now um after it's aired a bit it seemed to have picked that up a lot better so at first it tasted more like a regular white burgundy a chardonnay blend it was kind of more um i wouldn't say flabby but more um full and concentrated and didn't have that acidity and flintiness and steeliness that i would expect from chablis but now it's picking it up, getting some a little bit of floral elements on it also. On the taste, lots of um, citrus, um, almost like apricot notes, um, good acidity. Um, medium body so i like the body on this it reminds me a little bit of um, the wines from the alsace region with the body and the oiliness a little bit um i think this will be really good with food it is um, firmed up quite a bit it's, it's very steely um, and minerally right now It's funny because my my approach to this wine has changed tremendously since I first opened it. So I'm not sure what the wine ra wine spectator rating on this. I'll find it. I think they have been um, rated wine spectator. I'll put it in the comment section. I think it's 91 or 92 points. Uh, my rating of this wine is 91 points. Um, not a I'm not a personally a big Chablis fan. So maybe with Chablis fans they might be a little bit higher. 
Um, I do think if you're going to open this, this is a 17, that you do kind of decant it and just for about 30 minutes or an hour. Um, I think it actually tasted better after a little bit of aeration. Um, so I would actually give this, a, if you can wait another three to five years, I think it'd be even better. Um, but uh, very nice wine, and I think it pairs really well with food. Uh, I can see this going really well with seafood. Um, but interesting producer. I've never had Louis Michel, so I learned something new. And um, again, it's a Chablis expert, um, and a, 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 that only does Chablis. Uh, it's kind of neat for me. So until next time, happy drinking.